Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. King Odo. We have a classic show lined up for you. Oh, many of you are going to line you may cram. Ahlan was saklan kwenye kipindi chako cha Wicked Edition. We have a great show lined up for you. That one never changes and I can prove it. One of our guests for this episode, ni Baba Tugi, a friend of the show and one of the finest comedians in the 254. Nabado, the husband to Wakavinye. Here for the third time, this is the one and only Jugush. Also in studio is a lady you have loved on different entertainment platforms. One of them is an anti-boss. Hapa kwenye NTV, a seasoned actress. She is on both theater and TV. Many may know her as Siprosa. Sandra Dacha is in the house. We'll be talking to them in a bit. Our reporter Kinyanjui is also on standby with a special guesswork report. But first, this has been a sad week, Manze, because uh, Kenyans in five major counties are celebrating. I'm a opposite to celebrate Ninin. Yes, lamenting a one-week anniversary since President Uhuru announced a lockdown. Now, there's so much to say about that, but allow me to slide directly into something many people may have missed. You can't tell me that for a moment there, the president did not suspect that someone had stolen his mask for him. Now, the president probably knows very well how dangerous the people around him are with PPEs. The good news is uh, President Huru eventually found his mask after Aliangalia Vizuri. I wish he would apply the same concept with the two billion shillings he said gets lost in Kenya every day. Maybe Aliangalia Vizuri atapata iko tu apo maali karibu na and the president announced uh, the containment measures in Machakos, Nairobi, Kiambu, Kajiado, and Nakuru counties as one disease-infected area. And one thing that these counties have in common is that they host this country's major towns. Now, so technically, this could be interpreted to mean that COVID-19 is not devolved. I guess COVID is spread kama maendeleo. Ineza kosa kufika mashinani, na ikijaribu, the national government itafanya juu chini to make sure if you want to come Now, experts have also said that this lockdown could be a plot to promote local tourism. The government may have sat down and realized that Kenyans are not touring the country, so wakafunga ndi watu wajue value ya kutembea Kenya. Other experts also feel that the government may have hiked the fuel prices last week uh, to keep Kenyans home, more like a virtual lockdown. But the plan backfired. Mafuta ilipanda na over five, bob, lakini bado kuna jam. Maybe one condition one thousand. If one condition if one thousand per liter, it could have worked. Back a COVID issue. Now the announcement by President Uhuru was protested in many circles, including by religious leaders. In fact, Pefa uh, Church Kahawa West Bishop um, Peter Imbuka captured the frustration in this video that has since gone viral. Mr. President, let it put me. Let me put it to you plainly. It is this careless action by you, the politicians, that has made the rallies to become the super spreaders of this virus. While I agree with many of the things Mchungaji alluded to in that video, our reporter Kenyanjui dug more into the matter of how the government has treated churches and clubs since the pandemic, and he compiled the following report. We, as religious leaders, were surprised to hear that churches have been lumped together with bars and they have been closed. Mr. President, I believe this is a show of lack of respect for the churches. Following the reaction by religious leaders on the president's decision to close churches and leave bars open, we resorted to investigate the move. Duru's guesswork Zimetori Fukwaba, other than the safety of Kenyans, the decision was a combination of several factors, including confusion on the government side due to some similarities between churches and bars of late, e.g., alcohol in the house of the Lord. Take the case of this church in South Africa that believes that the only way to connect with the Most High is to get high. Kabula Church is a small heaven on earth. Each and every church is connecting to, the, to God in their own way. But in Kabula Church, we are connecting to God under the influence of liquor. Now that's not all. 
When you start looking for similarities between clubs and some churches, there's a lot. In both, you will find Willie Paul and Bahati. In both, you will find politicians, not to mention almost identical styles of dance. <laughs> Bottom line is, Kumakadisa Megine, Sio Shetani Pekeake, Anachoma. Now sadly, due to these examples and many more, all churches have suffered a blanket judgment. Our Department of Second Guessing, Kujijazia and Overthinking Affairs has observed a general decline in respect for the institution of the church and this has mainly been attributed to theatrics. The devil. Yeah? I'm the devil. You are the devil? Yeah. From where? From Katondo. Katondo? Yeah. Oh, devil. Yeah. Mwenyewe. What is that? You're the nini? This yeah. Is my yeah. This is my sign. You are signed. Yeah. Sign yako. Yeah. Can you imagine that as the devil from Gatodo was squaring it out with the chief general commander, yes, walikuwa na serere kakitegera. Interestingly, there were people who actually believed that who you dear Yesu Christo mwana wa mugu, only to later realize that it was not true. Kube this Jesus was secular ama ukipeda, in Rima's language, alikuwa Yesu Christoph. This revelation affected the faith of many. Some preachers are also doing worse to help the image of the church. For example, this prophet from Nigeria who has had services that feature a wrestling match between him and congregants suspected of hosting the devil. Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! That is a man of power! We are reliably informed that this is actually the Ebarababa of preachers. In the field of holy war, we just used him as an example just because we can and not because there are no examples of violence witnessed in Kenyan churches. No. Sijuzi tu wapa muranga wa chugaji waliweka yesu kado ma bishop wakachagamkia wa chugaji na ma frying kicks na ma kofi ya kiro na ma teke takatifu. Such scenes have led guesswork to ask the question. With these preachers, where is the line drawn between mutukufu na mutukungfu? According to an article by the New York Times from March last year, church attendance has reduced from over 70% to 47% in America, with the most rapid decline being within the three years before the report was published. Could it be that the problems facing this religious institution of the church go beyond or are bigger than the COVID-19 pandemic? Representing the Guesswork Fraternity on the Wicked Edition, Guess who? Kenya! Jewry. Big up yourself, Kenyan Jewry. Now, on her first appearance on this show, I remember asking uh, Jackie Vike or Awinja, as many people know her, Kama mewaita mani kukua chali. As in if she ever really wished she was a man. Her answer was epic. Be honest. Umei maji, umei itaka kukua chali? Ya, yeah, nisha itaka. Eh? Hey. Yeah. Nishai ji imagine, siya tinataka, uh, nishai ji imagine, nishai fantasize kwa chali. Nini about chali. machali ilifanya utake kwa? Kukojoa kwa barabara. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know how many members of Awinja's gender share that fantasy, but that response was interesting to me on very many levels. The one that's relevant to the topic of our show tonight is, who came up with the ideas of what men or women are allowed to do? The example in Awinja's fantasy falls in the category of unwritten rules of this world. Kuna kitu natamani kufanya lakini uwezi. Haujakatazu wana mtu. Watu wengine wanaza jaribu, but you can't. For example, ukiingia kwa kanisa, mbona uwezi yenda tu ukae kwa kiti ya bishop. Haujakatazu wana ata ukienda ukae kwa kiti ya mchungaji. Hakuna mtu atakuchapa for, for wanting to be closer to God. Now, why do people have rules? Or why do people need rules? The concept of rules, for me, uh, can be traced uh, to the times of Moses and the Israelites. And that begs the question. Kwa ni watu walikuwa wamejia chidiaje before Moses went up to the mountain? Moses, ni watu walikuwa nafai ni Moses haka mwezi vitu kumi, haende ya pandenazo huko kwa mlima ashuke nazo. Ama how they came about. I'm assuming that the Ten Commandments were the first constitutions of this world. In which case, this could mean that before Moses apande kwa mlima, sin was normal. What will go on Ishikama Instagram? Now, after the Ten Commandments came, different kinds of laws 
uh, came after that. But that's not the topic on our show this week. We are interested in the laws that are assumed, laws that can be described as common sense and written rules. Imeandiko wapi ukitembelea mtu lazima umbebeka kitu. Hei kamkate kamaziwa. What does it mean ukikosa? Our guest for this episode Sandra Dacha na uh, Jugush are joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Another show is a combination of good vibes. Uh, leo tukona, tunataka kuongelea mambo ya unwritten rules. Namna ni zijua zingine ni zenye nyimbe jitungia. Alafu guest wetu leo tukona one of our favorite persons, pia resident kwenye show, Jugush. Mina mwitanga hezekea. Karibu sana. Unajua <laughs> umesema kuna nini combination ya good vibes na huku sema na nini ingine. I know mimi ziko kwa good vibes. Uko kwa good vibes, uko kwa good vibes ze kaya maze. Ah, nashukuru sana. One of the people when you have come kwa show mara mob sana mm -hmm. and it's always a pleasure having you on again. You will again. start cutting checks. Ah, thanks mm -hmm. to Judy Nyawera, muongeze mshahara. <laughs> Tuwa nguvu sana sana sana. Alafu pia tuko na Sandra Dacha. Sandra Dacha ni dem moja wa kujituma sana. You know her from Anti Boss pia yeye ni mtu ma good vibes mbaya pleasure to have you on our show for the Asante first time Asante sana na mbona umesema njugusha amekuja hapa mara mingi mimi nimekuja leo for the first time kwa pi chai <laughs> azinata chai. maji mtu ako na suti lakini hana chai COVID, ya wageni surely covid social distancing hata kwa ndege sasa social distance na chai na hata kwa ndege sahi ya hata kwa tumbo tufanye social distancing <laughs> 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 I love your hair. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank wow. you. Wow. You, 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 I, know, I, I, I know I love Sawa. yours next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm hata unipoa sana umetufungulia show na what wow. we wanna discuss umeingia hapa ukaulizaa yeah. mbona hakuna chai what yeah. where is it written that kila mahali mtu anaenda someone mm -mm. owes you tea mm -mm. daktari da kwanza wewe ni daktari wa wapi ah wachana na mimi That's kila mtu anauliza ngeo swali ni hiti oh yeye ni hiyo by the way ni written rule daktari sawa so, wacha nikuulize ukienda mahali lazima hata kama ni maji ama chai azini ukaribisha mgeni ndiye feel at home ama lakini sasa huyu mgeni kuna another unwritten rule <laughs> yes yenye watu wanajifanyanga baoni it's a written rule but watu wanajifanya baoni uh -huh. huyu anaitisha chai amekuja na nini <laughs> unajua uh, unavaa kukuja na kiondo kitambo tulikuwa wageni wakikuja kiondo inapita hivi yeah. inakuja na mandizi inatoka na mahindi huyu oh, analeta huyu you give and you ah, receive sio butter trade it's uh -huh. unwritten wewe hauwezi kuja mkono mtupu kwa nyumba ya mtu. E, unakuja unapata wakipika chapati, hana vitu nyingi za kupatia. Chapati inaraluliwa ile katasi ya unga yenye juu yenye wamemaliza, mm. unafungiwa chapati unaenda. Lakini siku hizi hata huko wapi kwa home lakuja. Kwa kaweka hapa. Unakuja mbaya nini? Tunakuja mkono mtupu. Eh, hata kwani hakuna chai? Ah, ah, expect mtu akupikie ah. chai na majani yake ndio jaribuletea kitu. Historia yetu ilianza na uchokozi, a conversation just a normal conversation mm. ya. Yeah. Sandra, if you break up with someone, see you've broken up. Eh. Yeah. Si mumeachana. Eh. Yeah. Imeisha. Atumeachana. Mumeachana. Si ndio. Kuisha hapo utulia kama. Ah, mumeachana. Yeah. Let's say mumeachana. Uh -huh. Hawachana na ile hope ya ku kudiana. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then huyu uh, mtu akuja on the best yako vile anaweza. Ah. What, why do you have a problem with that kama dem? Lakini, why would you go and date my friend? Why not? Itaniuma, why, why not what? Azim, si Hata kama yu ni ribi yako, tumiachana, but tumiachana aje. Apana, unajua ukigari, uki, ukishuka stage na songa. <laughs> Awezi sema kwa nini mbuwa mekaye yu kiti ya wezi. Kama inarudi nyuma kwa rafiki yangu, si unikuwa najua rafiki yangu before. Haina shida, <laughs> ata kama ni nani. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you know? Ah, ah, it doesn't matter. It means well, while you're dating me, we'll go na tama ni girafiki ah, yangu. Ah, 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 who said that? Kama ilikuwa rafiki yangu, wacha urafiki ishano we. Maisha razma iendere. Uyu anasonga mbere na wewe unasonga mbere. Wacha ni kulize. Wewe, ukukona beste. Jukuna mtu naangalianga na hata una mafikira. Ni mtu mzuri, kimtu. Sababu we have a lot of nini for attraction. Kuna mtu unampende yanga vile anapika chai. Mwingine utampendea vile akona kitu kwa mfuko. Mwingine unampendea sura. 
mwingine ni vile ana dance lakini mwingine anapenda dread you know yeah, unaona unaweza una sema ni zake <laughs> tunampendea <laughs> vitu nyingi but you see when umetoka na nimebaki na beast yako Sandra Mm. Sidhani kuna ngori ndio tu haya. Oh, so hata unapenda kwenda Karura. Oh. Gosh. Sida iko wapi? It doesn't mean tulikuwa na macho. What before. gives you the moral authority? Where is it written that you cannot thou mine. shall not? He used to be mine. Mbona akwenda rafiki yangu? Used to? Used to. Na hiyo imeisha. Ah, ai, tunaweza rudiana. Ujeo na place watu na break up oh. for like it's a fight. So mtu yote mmeachana na yeye, there is a there is a Kuna ka kitu eh, hey, let me tell you mwenye umeshia bed na yeye mnaweza rudiana anytime hata kama muliachana hata kama alikuwa anakupiga nafanya nini please i don't support you dating my friend na hiyo ndiye nafanya kama inchi tunarudi nyuma sababu why tukiamua tuachane na hii mm. tusirudi huko tumeamua tumeachana na you have your own reasons why mm-hmm. it didn't work out mm-hmm. so nga mbele I, i don't see why you should have the moral authority ya kusema atesi fai ku date mtu fulani who are you You are my friend. No. You're not supposed to date my ex. Ah, Why are you dating my ex? Jugush it's funny that when this conversation started I was uh, to go na discuss his story na 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 best yangu, mm. a colleague. Mm. Akasema yeye hata afadhali <coughs> akuletee mtu mwingine akwambie okay. shika huyu mm-hmm. but not her friend. Apana. What difference does it ah. make? Alafu hapana. Your friendship hiyo. Your friendship. Mimi hapana, mimi nimeona kile. Unajua mimi I'd rather wacha nijisemee. I'd rather mimi tukiachana na mtu at best yangu anini ah eh hey. you take it wacha niseme no wewe no. hey. sababu wacha niseme sababu <laughs> anajua jinsi hawa yes. kaanza mbali mm. staki umsichana nime break hat staki aendelee wewe ndio umembreak hat yeye haja ku break in short hakuna kitu mzuri kama kuuza gari kwa mtu unajua eh hey, unajua itunza eh hey. hata sasa hivyo unasema mnaweza rudiana hata kuwa mbali anachukua na mtu anaenda no, no, do, do you have grounds do you have grounds yeah ati ni best yako beyond that what what what, what grounds do you have yeah your friend uh-huh. cannot friend. move on with. she's my friend why would she move on with my ex i mean is, let me I ask mean, you is she happy i don't know yes but Mama, let, me tell, let me let me ask you let me ask you njugush you're dating my friend isn't you So sasa zile uko na friend yangu si friend yangu ananifikiria all the time mkiwa na yeye na pia wewe unanifikiria all the time hapana i know you said you but si tunaongea hakuna mko kona nini yako wewe ndio unatufikiria kai sisi tuko vizuri huko wawili wewe ndio unatufikiria a a why sijui kama thank you uh, that ends the debate hakuna grounds oh. and uh, that that begs the question ya conversation yetu ya leo who writes these things and when it comes to uh, morality jugush mm-hmm. how do you know good or bad and how are you sure wewe ndio unakuanga right i think mimi vile nimekuja kuona kwa hii dunia tuko ni kama unaona ma form 4 wakati hakuna prefects wameenda school trip yes sasa mafo, unapata sasa ma form 4 ndio wanasema hakuna prefects hivyo ndio tuko kila mtu anafanya kile unafikiria iko na ndio maana unapata mnakongana sababu wewe vile umelelewa sio vile eh, si mi, ya tu mimi kwa tu nimelelewa hatuingiagi na viatu kwa nyumba mimi kwa tu nimelelewa baba yangu anaingia na viatu juu ni baba yetu He. sasa mimi ni kitu kioana na kuja na ingia na viatu ah, ah, nimelelewa hivyo kwa nyu baba yenu alikuwa anatoa so i think the, the tunapatanga zimeshaandikwa yes growing up zimeandikwa wapi Maria Maria Ndelibo haiwezi vutika lakini haionekani but just know. eh wewe unajuanga Una tunajuanga kwa nyumba kuna kiti ya baba hakuna mtu alisema baba hapo haku mark hata hii ni kiti yangu but mnajuanga akiingia unatokanga hapo <laughs> sababu ni kiti ya <laughs> kitu kingine ni nani alisema lazima mwanamke lazima mwanaume alale karibu na mlango unaona ukiwa na mwanamke nani alisema <laughs> that's a good question <laughs> Njugush wewe you are married. Atumani. Nani anafaa kulala saidi ya ukuta? Mimi hurala kwa ukuta juu. Ah! Wacha niseme kwa nini? You. Nasema kwa nini? Why? Narala kwa ukuta sababu mwanaume anafaa kulala kwa mrango. Kwa ukuta ndiyo kuna mrango na hapa nyuma. <laughs> the next room kuna mrango. <laughs> oh the next room. Eh. Hey. Hey. Nani mzuri? How, how do you decide eh uh, ilitwaje uh, wewe kama okay, mimi, mimi, kwa mimi kwa I have a boyfriend. Na mimi vile niko mimi ndio lala karibu na mlango because you know my boyfriend is thin slim okay thin, not thin slim tall not so handsome so na like me when i can protect 
Ah. That's why inalala karibu na mlango. Hapana, analala so, huko asianguke. Ju sasa ingekuwa hivyo vingine jamaa ataanguka. Nimeanguka mara mingi. Kuna hapa bakora. <laughs> Kuna hapa bakora. Ah, <laughs> Jugushi is talking from experience. Yeah. Tulisema, tulisema hakuna kuongea ukweli kwa show. Hakuna kuongea ukweli kwa show. Sawa, I withdraw. <laughs> Sawa, I withdraw. Mm. I withdraw. Mm. Mm. Sasa criteria yako ni hiyo moja tu ya. Ah, mimi mimi nalalanga kwa mlango. Na protect. Sisi yeah. tuna protect sisi. Sawa. Sisi. Na nilikuwa nauliza m mm, tuko piga story pia na Shiksha Arora. Chai kameingia unaona wow. <laughs> when you need me for your rights. Chai unaonanga tu inaingia you are right. <laughs> Kama inchi tunafatu tiganira Thank you so much Alafu usikia siyo yetu ni ya watangazaji Ah no no Wasatatu Sao Nikuwa piga story na Shiksha Arora Alikuwa TV presenter Njulika na sana Na ukuna watu kunasaigia na kimawazo Abera yu kupa na watch Juu sisi zile tunaongeaga siwezi ongea hapa The other half of Abel is how tumetengeneza isho So be grateful na mbona unaangalia huu sana mbona mimi upiki story kuniangalia hii ni story inakuja kwako tunataka wewe ndio umalizie oh, sorry. Eh, so mm. inasemekana ati juna jo huyu atachemsha hiyo <laughs> eh, inas, inasem, nilikamuuliza <laughs> ushiksha ati eh ni aje eh, kipele kwa date na chali <laughs> uh, who supposed to pay akasema we split the bill nikamwambia oh is, we, is he, is he she's, a a lady, she's a lady she's a lady sema we split the bill amelelewa wapi unaona <laughs> unaona huyu ni babi anasema amejoma Anasoma. <laughs> Bwana ume ndiye anafaa kulipa bill. <laughs> Where is it written? It is written in the Bible, I don't know which book, that a man is supposed to provide and take care of women. Sijui kama unasoma ngapi. Haikusema take them to coffee. Take care. Kukinyesha naweza kupatia sweta. That is taking care. Haikuna bill inatumika. Point is Mwenye anasema tuende hiyo nini? Mwenye anasema tuende hiyo katikati tugawane. Vile tu nilisema kwa birthday. Mwenye anasema tuende hiyo <laughs> diet. Eh. Mwenye anafaa kulipa. Ai bethi tunafaa kwenda sijui coffee nini. Ni yeah. Bethi tunafaa kwenda Masai Mara. Wazo. Ukisema yeah. nasikia kukura kuku unakuwa na pesa. Hakuna mtu. So mbuko. so mimi ndo nafaa kulipa. Na hmm. umenipeleka. Da, a, kama ni mimi nimekupeleka I will hmm. pay. But kama ni wewe umesema na baby tumekaa bila kwenda out juu mara mingi hata hmm. tuseme leo kama wanaume hey. hizi hmm. ideas zinatokana na wanawake na baby tumekaa bila kwenda na baby kwa nini unipeleka ngi sasa inabidi kingoli unabidi uende ujikomonge yeah, utengeneze kanini yes. ukuje ati, ati sasa nataka kukusurprise na ni pressure amekuweka umsurprise <laughs> um, but oh, no. surprise hey. na sasa hey. yako indirectly hey. sasa wewe una feel ni kama you owe everything how fai kulipa kijana wacha niwaambie siku ya leo Mbona msilipe mnafaa kulipa sababu leo nikilipa ya leo na sijafikia hapo kesho tutaka ingine iko juu kesho so wacha niende na pesi yangu ni uko na wow. pressure by the ni uko na pressure ya unaona kama vile dem si anaweza kuwa 29 mm -hmm. ama 30 mm -hmm. ama 40 mm -hmm. na bado anaomba rusa ndio atoke home e. eh unaomba rusa ndio atoke home kwenyu eh kwenyu ama 29 okay. bado uko kwenyu e, 40 nimeenda sana but e. najua dem wa 25 mm -hmm. ana have kuomba permission aisi la lanje bila rusa but boy is 18 we jipange but mbona mbona we kama mzazi wa mtoto wako akaimbaka 25 kwa nyumba yako no, no, utafukuza watoto wako eh usiwafukuze waende watafute i'm talking about this because i'm an orphan and i know waende watafute ah, yeah. which begs the question huh. which uh, pole for the experience but then which begs the question what's the na hii ni swali pia watu wanauliza what's the age the oldest age yeah. you can live with your My parents parent. or guardian 20 18 unamaliza shule mimi nasemanga waje niseme ukweli mimi kama baba yangu angekuwa pes na pesa hii pesa zile nyingi ushaisikia mtoto wa uhuru akitaka kutoka kwa ah ya 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 ni kweli waje hata wao hajatoka state house yeah, kwa kwao hayo ni mfani ukiezama hata biblia yesu aliteremka akarudi kuishi na nani na baba yake So Ay, hey, mimi sura. mimi kusema ukweli sisi watu wa chini ndiyo tunajifanyaga mimi nikigoga 18 natoka exactly wale watu wako okay na wahindi sense. wahindi wako na pesa nyingi lakini mm. wanakaa pamoja guka unaonyesha cousin uncle mm. nani nani wako hivyo sisi uki, uki shilingi mbili yeah, inakufukuza ukaishi yeah, peke yako yeah. kustrago hii Nairobi yeah, yeah, yeah. hii Nairobi unafungiwa maji na stima hata hutaki kukaa beyond 18 wale wamekaa 25 wamekufa You're making sense today. <laughs> Napenda vile unajifight. Yaani tunagonga tunagonga Sandra na point anarudi side yetu. Sasa mpaka who do you support? 
By the time tumalize, yeye anasema bills. Bills na tuwezi kubaliana, bills no. Hiyo tu hapo kwa pesa ndio hatutapatana. Pesa tutakupatana. But it's making sense. Wewe ni wale wa your money is our money, my money is my money. No, your money is our money, my money is mine. For real. Hata ukiwa na do kuliko boys wako, shauri yake. Ni kuwe na do kuliko boys wangu as in I'm paid more. Yes, you make more. Nasi, ya nini, ye? Ya inuke. You can't do it. Sia inuke, azin, azin. Sia tinamlisha, but jikaze, ya takama, achanga mke tu. So this means that based on the unwritten that ni chalia na faku stand, tuseme kama, wewe, tuseme wewe ni manager maali. Yeah. Una make do poor a uh, high paying job but mm-hmm. chali yako ako mm-hmm. kazi kwa vijana mtakaa kazi yole. kwa vijana ile ya kufagia kwa nini yes 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 mtakaa kwa yole mpaka <laughs> umoke <laughs> i wish ningejibu hiyo lakini ushajibu ushajaji ajajibu hiyo tunahama kama ni mapenzi unajua wezi kuna vitu vingine uwezi ni mapenzi ni kitu mbaya sana naweza fanya upende mtu wa kazi za vijana huko na wewe ni manager mahali kuna muamisha tu basi asema mimi naweza fanya hivyo i'm just saying i think tuachie tu na history ya kila mtu ajue kitu anajua kila mtu basi you are right in your own way you are right in your own way however it works tukishinda tumepishana sasa tutagongana sana sana eh when we write the right and wrong the wrongs tutaniniwa wapi sababu unasikia huyu wako saba anasema bill of rights ni hivyo mimi nasema hivyo vingine sasa tutafanya nini juu ya hiyo story watu waende and jugush videos changamka support waka vinye na jugush always good vibes na wakuja always eh and to give manze asante sana for having us na asante sana for the support karibu sana karibu sana alafu wewe pia sasa watu wamekupoteza sana kwa tele youtube channel sandra data everywhere sandra data Instagram Sandra Dacha, Facebook Sandra Dacha, TikTok Sandra Dacha, Twitter Sandra Dacha, WhatsApp groups sorry. And Everything as, Sandra yeah, Dacha. Yeah, yeah, and as my fav- <laughs> one of my favorite people's uh, Bernardo <laughs> Diero and as I'm ongezea hapo Mpesa Sandra Dacha. <laughs> asante ni sana kwa kukama mazia asante ni asante ni asante ni tena. Asante But history yetu in a need conclusion. Maybe we need to plan for that. Yeah. To plan na huyu alipe bill. Nilipe bill na wewe ni mwanaume. Basi for the weekend I'll see you next week. My name Ow. is Dr. Kingori. <laughs>